Hi, my name is Rob Russell. I'm a flying member at Sosa Gliding Club and also one of our flight instructors here. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief tour of the cockpit of one of our training aircraft and let you know what you would see in the front. Normally, as the instructor, I would be sitting in the back of the aircraft, but here I'm just pretending to be a student in the front so you knew what you would see. Our most important instrument in the aircraft is the yaw string. It's a piece of yarn that is taped to the canopy in front of me, and that lets me know the direction of the air over the aircraft. It's our most important, but it's also our cheapest and our most boring. Inside the aircraft, we have our airspeed indicator here. This is in knots. Roughly, you would double that to get kilometers per hour, and we do most of our flying in this aircraft between about 40 and 60 knots. We'll come in for a landing around 50, maybe 55 knots, and that's about 100, 110 kilometers per hour. Over here on the right, we have our altimeter. This altimeter is set to about 850 feet above sea level right now, and that's the field elevation of our airport. So if we're flying at altitude, we want to tell other aircraft over the radio how high we are above sea level. So if I'm 2,000 feet above the ground, I would know that I'm 2,850 feet above sea level on the instrument, and that's what I would communicate over the radio to other aircraft. That's just so that if we fly off to another area, we don't need to know how high the ground is to be able to communicate our altitude to other people in the air. We've got two instruments in the center here that tell me my vertical speed, whether I'm going up or going down. If it's at zero, that means I'm maintaining a steady altitude, which I am, of course, on the ground. If we're in the air, and that needle starts to go up, then I know we're in a thermal, we're gaining altitude, we're in lift, and I can start circling in that lift to try and gain more altitude. Over here, we got our G meter. That tells me how many Gs I am pulling. And right now, I'm pulling one G because I'm on the ground. I have one force of gravity acting on me. I can tell from the last flight, from the yellow needles, what the extremities of Gs were that were pulled in this aircraft. And I can see that on the last flight, they pulled positive three G's and negative a half a G. So you were less than weightless. You were actually had half of your weight into the straps as you were as you were descending. Our compass is in the top right and that's used for navigation if necessary. And our radio down here. The newest instrument in the aircraft is the power flarm. This is constantly transmitting my GPS position over the radio to any other aircraft that also has a power flarm device. So it lets me know where other gliders are and it lets other gliders know where I am. So now I'm going to show you some of the controls that we have in the aircraft that we use in flight to control where we're going and what we're doing. The primary control is the stick and that allows me to pull back or push forward to control the pitch of the aircraft. Pushing forward, I'm pitching down. Pulling back, I'm pitching up. The stick also gives me control of my roll by rolling left or rolling right. And I also have my feet in rudder pedals. By pushing the rudder pedals to the left or to the right, I'm able to yaw the aircraft about its normal axis. And using those three controls together, by pushing left on the stick, left on the rudder, and pulling back a little bit, I can coordinate the aircraft into a left turn. Similarly, I can use the right rudder and right stick and a little bit of pullback to coordinate into a right turn. I also have additional controls that I would use occasionally in flight. The yellow knob is my release. That's where I would release from the tow plane or the winch launch. And over on the left with the blue handle are my spoilers and my dive brakes. I can open those out. Those are used for landing to decrease the efficiency of the wing. Then I close them up and lock them again. Other things you might see in the aircraft are the canopy latching mechanism. We have the emergency canopy jettison mechanism. This is the microphone for the radio, which is activated with, with the push to talk switch. I have a spring on the stick that I can adjust with the green knob. That's my trim. That makes holding the stick in a particular position easier or harder. And I also have a vent for fresh air over here, but I like to keep that closed during takeoff so the bees don't fly up my nose.